Hi, let's take a quick look at the updated documents page. To get there, you will go to Evaluations and select Documents. As a teacher, you'll have two different document collections that you can view. Any documents or links that you upload will be under My Documents, and any documents or links uploaded by your district will be found under District Documents. To upload a new document, please find the plus icon. You can drag and drop or browse for a file. And you have the option to type a brief file description and then click Next. You now have the option to tie your document to a rubric. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose School Librarian. I have the option to assign it to the entire rubric. I can show only my areas of focus for my PGP by switching that toggle. Or I can tie the document to specific indicators. So I simply do that by clicking in the box next to the indicator. I can remove indicators by clicking on the X in the tag or by clicking back in the box. Once I'm done, I will click Done. And there's my new document. To upload a link, it is very similar. You'll paste your web link in the bottom box and in the top box, you can again type a brief file description and then I'll click Next. I have the option again to tie it to a rubric, so I'm gonna choose School Librarian again and I'm gonna assign it to the entire rubric. Now on my Documents page, I see the document name or link name when it was uploaded, and this is very important. In the Related Indicators column, if there is a number inside of the circle, that shows how many indicators it was specifically tied to, and it also shows what rubric it was tied to. So both of those are orange because they were both tied to the school librarian rubric. You might also see a zero or an R in the circle if the document was tied to the entire rubric and not any specific indicators. I can take some actions of edit, download, or delete. And I can also filter through my documents by the date that they were uploaded. So I can select a date and view all documents that were uploaded since that date. So I can go back to 2018, or I can choose a more current date to see the most recently uploaded documents. I hope that you feel comfortable using our new documents page. And if you have any questions, please email us at pivot at five-startech.com.